Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and of course, Your Honor. Welcome to the 2014 Lieutenant Governor's Arts Awards presented by the Saskatchewan Arts Board. I congratulate all who have been shortlisted and I thank each of you for giving such enormous gifts to the people of Saskatchewan. I feel so grateful and honored to be considered for this amazing award. I have so many people to thank. First of all, I want to thank Joan Borsa, who nominated me. Joan's insight and uh, passion for what I was doing, I felt so grateful. I sometimes thought that she knew what I was doing more than I did. She, she, and she put it all together. And Joan, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. A special thanks to the Saskatchewan Arts Board for the many grants I have received over the years and has enabled me to continue the work I love. Over 30 years ago, there was an organization in Saskatoon called the Photographer's Gallery. Uh, on staff was Doug Townsend, Honor Kiever, Brenda Pelkey, and Ulrika Weiss. When I was a member, <clears throat> I was surrounded by all these young people, and uh, they, all, they made me all so welcome and did so much to give me advice and feedback. Thank you to the Sherbrooke Community Center, a Saskatoon long-term home, for giving me the complete freedom to photograph both staff and residents. And I want to thank my family for their support and for traveling from different parts of Canada to be here tonight. It was 70 years ago that I came to Saskatoon. And over the years ahead, I, I grew to love the uniqueness of Saskatchewan and the uniqueness of its people. After my four children left home, I rekindled my interest in photography, something that my dad had introduced me to in our little dark room in Kingston, Nova Scotia. It's funny, I didn't start to do photography here. I just started uh, reading to uh, residents in a long-term care home, only two blocks from where I lived. It wasn't long before the reverse was happening. They were telling me their unbelievable stories of poverty, hardships, loneliness. And they also told me their innermost feelings about religion, politics. And I wanted to know what they really thought was important in bringing up their children. And one woman said to me, I've never told anybody this, but I don't mind telling you. And if you want to know uh, what that was, you can go to the Mendel Art Gallery and it, you can hear her voice. Telling their stories made them feel good about themselves. Wonderful expressions came over their faces. I think it was the creative things they did that made them happy. When I heard about them making beautiful things from flower bags and sugar bags and uh, beautiful baskets. I thought, oh, I think that's how they s survived. After several months of getting to know these residents and having a feeling they trusted me, I, I asked if I could photograph them. And in my photographs, I wanted to show not this hardship and poverty, I wanted to show how that made them so strong. Something in them that made the, their kindness and their love for others, their commitment. I hope my portraits show that. Oh, I have to tell you about Laura. She came from London, England with her family and settled in the, the um, Allen Hills in, 
right near Saskatoon. And someone told me that they would, they would, I could identify their homestead by a fallen chimney. And so I trekked the back roads mile after mile after mile, and finally I came to Laura's homestead. And I went back three times to photograph there. I wanted to show a big panorama, and you'll see it in the exhibition, big panorama to show the loneliness and uh, desolation of the Allen Hills. Anyway, I was surprised when uh, Brenda Pelkey asked me to give a little class at, uh, at the university, and I was telling them about this big panorama with the, and a student barked back at me, and he said, that isn't lonely or desolate at all. That's the most beautiful place in the world. That's where I came from. So a theme I found in all these, uh, all these people was the way they dealt with hardship was by creating something themselves that made them happy. I like this verse. It's, I've seen the spark that creativity does to all of us. In, at Sherbert Community Center, Jack Coggins, a paraplegic, with, couldn't use his hands or feet, and I saw him do this beautiful painting of a snowy owl. And I know I saw the expression on his face when he finished. It was so beautiful. And then for young people, I was asked to go to a six, this is quite recently, I was asked to go to a grade six class in Saskatoon and talk about photography and creativity. At the end of, at 10 o'clock, they were out for a 20 minute recess. And when I knocked on the door after t 20 minutes and opened the door and there was everyone in the class was lined up with something bubbling over with enthusiasm and ready to show me what they had created in 20 minutes. And I was amazed. And they had had no prompting from either the teacher or myself. And in this past year, for me, through photography, I have learned to believe in myself. It has become a powerful and driving force in my life. Thank you again to the Saskatchewan Arts Board for this incredible night and this very special award. And thank you for all in supporting the arts in our wonder province of Saskatchewan. And lastly, I'll just leave you with a little something I thought was interesting. When my exhibition was at La Ronge, after seeing this exhibition, a little six-year-old voice I heard in the background. I didn't know old people could be happy. Why, why they can be just as happy as we are. Thank you.